Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So you're gonna notice something funny about this video. You're gonna notice that the voice you hear is not matching me on the screen. And that is because as I recorded this whole unboxing video, not once did I realize that my microphone was not plugged in. So welcome to this retroflective <laughs> look in my page one box unboxing for the month of August. So you guys know I love this page one subscription. Yeah, look at me just going completely oblivious to the fact that all of the stuff I am saying, nothing's getting recorded. But you know I love my page one subscription. I'm pretty sure as I'm pointing down, I'm letting you know that if you look below in the description, you can see a link to page one if you'd like to check out their shop. There's the cute card they give you with some wonderful quotes. I'm not even going to try to read. You can probably read them better than I can right now. Um, that were really cute and talked about how hot it was. I think I commented on how hot it was on Sunday when I re recorded this. Uh, links below will also be provided for the books I received if you're interested in purchasing those. So now I continue to get into my goods. For those of you that have not seen a page one subscription before, the books come beautifully wrapped, as you can see there. Um, you get selected books that are personalized for you. So you will answer a few questions when you subscribe and they will select your books based on that. Um, you do get a couple of bookish goodies as well. I have two subscriptions, hence why I have two books. And you can see here, I got a cute set of literary pencils. I am thoroughly entertained by them. Um, they're referencing several different literary authors, if I remember correctly. And I'm having way too much fun reading them all. <laughs> so... There we go. The other ones are grammar pencils. Um, you can see here, they make a lot of great jokes, um, like the E before, or I before E except after C, and all this stuff that gave me flashbacks to um, elementary school. Then I continue on in my box. We are, oh, no, I paused. I paused. Now I have no idea. I think I'm talking about, oh, yes, okay. I love the fact, obviously, um, these books come wrapped and the excitement of getting to first unbox this box and then unwrap the books gets me every time. Um, you have a bookmark that will come with your subscription, the page one logo with the location if you're ever on the north side of Chicago. And then we have a really cool quote always on the back. Um, I have a collection of these that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Um, they're just sitting in a drawer waiting for some creative um, muse to come my way, I suppose. So here I am unwrapping the first book. And I think I'm dragging it out because I know once I do it, I'm going to have to wait another 30 days for the next box to come my way. So there I am just talking while I slowly unwrap my book. And, oh, wow, I did not realize. I, I have to start maybe editing these. <laughs> Here, how many times have you all watched these? Like, come on, get it open. Get it open. <laughs> Speed it up. I'll, I'm going to have to work on just ripping them off more. All right. So the first book is coming. It is coming. Oh, I'm impressed. The Shadow of the Lion. So this is a book by Christopher Swan. And I noticed when I unwrapped it immediately, it had thriller vibes. And boy, was I right. Um, the quote on the cover describes it as a twisty tale that surprises at every turn. will keep you turning pages compulsively into the wee hours. So basically, the book is about um, our main character, Matthias Glass. His best friend, Fritz, goes missing during their senior year at an elite Blackburn boarding school. He runs off into the Virginia woods during an argument and is simply gone. After the search for Fritz turns up empty, the authorities will give up. Matthias tries to move on with his life. He goes to college. He becomes a writer of some minor celebrity, and then he burns out. He is haunted by Fritz's disappearance. He feels stuck in the past, guilty, responsible, and alone. 
Almost 10 years after Fritz vanishes, Matthias, in need of work and focus, takes a job teaching English at Blackburn. On the shadowy grounds of his alma mater, he stumbles into a web of surveillance, dangerous lies, and buried secrets, and discovers the dark underbelly of a school where the future had once seemed bright. So I don't say this at the time, but now having read the back of this book for the second time, I just finished a book, um, a nonfiction book about an elite boarding school where there actually were some horrific things that went on um, to primarily the female students that were there. Um, and yeah, so this, I'm, I'm actually going to kind of carry that with me into this book um, because I do talk about in, in the video when I reviewed, um, it's the book called The Notes of a Silencing, um, the fact that I had a false sense of security in elite boarding schools. And I think the nonfiction book has righted that. So when I go into this thriller, I will be um, more accurately ready for, <laughs> for the, the dangers that can exist. So now I am getting ready to open my second subscription. Um, I do mention that I have an annual subscription. I always buy a 12-month subscription. Um, and then I purchased a second six-month subscription. And when that is up, I will, again, purchase another one with a different focal area. Um, my general one is my 12-month. And then I have one focused on international authors. So now I have unwrapped The Future for Curious People by Gregory Sherrill. And that is Grayson in the background. This is really a cool cover. I, yeah, I just, I really like the design of this cover. But anyway, what is this book about? I was so intrigued by this one too. What if you can know your romantic future? What if an envisionist could enter the name of your prospective mate into a computer that would show you a film of your future life together? In the future for curious people, a young librarian named Evelyn becomes obsessed with this new technology. She can't stop visiting Dr. Chin's office because she needs to know that she'll meet someone and be happy one day. Godfrey, another client, ends up at the envisionist's office only because his fiance insisted they know their fate before taking the plunge. But when Godfrey meets Evelyn in the waiting room, true love may be right in front of them, but they are too preoccupied and too burdened by their past to recognize it. This smart, fresh love story with its quirky twists, and I'm pretty sure while I'm reading, yep, right there, I said, oh, quirky, I love quirky. <laughs> <laughs> and turns, ponders life's big questions about happiness, fate, and our very existence as it follows Evelyn and Godfrey's quest for the elusive answers. So I found myself just in love with both of these books. Um, I, you know, last month's guys for page one, if you happen to see that video, those books were a total score, total score. They were both five star for me. And um, I'm just so excited and I'm blown away once again by the fact that I have not heard of either of these books. Um, and they both sound exactly like the type of book I'd want to read. So I'm really looking forward to it. One of the things I did recognize, um, both the authors currently are from the United States and normally I have an international author, but I decided, you know what, I really don't care because last month I had two international authors. So it all balances out in the long run and both of these books sound so perfect that I'm quite happy, I'm okay. So, I, you know, I do think at one point I had four subscriptions with page one at one point or three at once and um yeah i'm kind of itching to go there once i can get my tbr under control because i still believe i will uh but there i am loving the books happy as always good job page one i'm clapping i'm saying thank you i'm telling you to hit that subscribe button and join us if you haven't already and most importantly go read a book so happy reading you all <laughs>